Hey, Bill, I need to change my arm decor. Do you know where it is? Uh, nope. Then where is it? Nah, B, I'm just mega fake. <laughs> another tutorial for how to make your own a bizarre day copy let's jump right into it with stand animations so uh, a couple of you wanted to learn stand animations so uh here it is oh there we go um so uh, plugins animations all right now we have this right there's 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 the let me press on this. Yeah, so there are the default ones you can load up. But why would you do that? What was this? Why would you do that? Um, so let's just make one that, you know, uh, I guess a stand padding his stand user on the back. So let's just name it Pat. All right. Um, now we've named it Pat. We want to go over here. Let me just see if this one is the... All right. This one I'm pretty sure is this... Yeah, this is the human. So... um. We want the stand to be patting the human on the back, so we don't want the human to be in front of the stand. We want the stand to be in back. All right. So now that we move the stand back, um, the, it made a keyframe here. All right. Keyframes are basically like frames. <laughs> so uh, yeah. All right. Um, so we need to get him a good enough space. So uh, okay, that's good enough. So, right here, this is very simple, so uh, we could just um, move this a couple frames over here, uh, rotate this up, okay, I just, can I, can I please, C could I please, thank you. <laughs> All right, so now that you moved it, uh, I want to move it upwards, and uh, we could just, you know, actually, let's make it smacking his user, okay? So let's get this stando, uh, and then right now it's, and then, uh, doo -doo. okay, we have that. So uh, now we need to uh, go a couple frames more, like this, and then let's rotate this, no, like this, no more, a little more. All right, there. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Go over here. Then let's go over here. Um, and then let's set this back. No, okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's pretty fast right here, so we just want to move this a couple frames over here and do that. And then we can do this. And then right here we can move it back. And then, okay, move this here. Dupe, and then bump his head again. So now it looks like this. Now the stand user reaction it ha doesn't even have a reaction. So we obviously want to give him a reaction. Um, so when he taps him first, we need to move his head. Actually, no, that's that's not a good idea. Actually, it is. All right. So we move it like this when he touches him. Yeah, see, that's why. Okay. Uh, when it's right here, I guess we could put a little keyframe there by just tapping it uh, and when he actually gets tapped he moves his head so it looks like this let's move this over here you know get a little bit framed to go slower okay, um, then right here we move his head back 
tour originally was. And then right here, we do it again. So right now, uh, let's look at the animation. See? Every time he was hit, he moved his head. And then um, we can add a, something for funny. You know, for funny. <laughs> uh, we can do this. Do this, please. Please. Oh my god, bro, so weird. Okay, there. Um, uh, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, let's uh, move this guy's head back first. Uh, uh, now we have this. So, um, let's wait a little bit here. And get his arm. And right here we can put another ins oh actually let's insert this over here and then right here we can uh put this and then take his arm and then uh we can move it Okay, see, look. And now that he's moved that, we also need to get the stand to uh, expect, not expect, uh, you know, react to it. So when he moves his head, I mean, hey, wait, did I? Oh, okay, I made an error in the animation. Free. Okay, let's delete this for a second. Delete selected, and then move this here. And we get this. Make a little tiny keyframe there. Do this. And then... Oh, crap. Okay, that's really fast. So we just do that. Alright, now we need this Stan's reaction. So, uh... Move him when he's done bonking his head. Uh, we move him right here, so he should be getting hit right here. Move this. Uh, let's just rotate this a little to its origin. There you go, and then rotate it down. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Another error was made in the... Where is the stand humanoid root part? So we need to put it over here, I guess. Yeah, here's a good spot. Um, oh, wait. This is the root part. No. Okay. Okay, well, that was really bad. But you get the picture, all right? You get the picture. Making a stand barrage is actually so much easier. Um, you know what I care about. Actually, yeah, I do. I'll, I'll just export this. I'll export this for no reason. Uh, pat, submit. And you can use this ID for animations if you want to. You don't have to. Um, let's make a new one. Uh, anyone? Barrage. Barrage. Alright, now we have barrage. Eh. So, wait, let me go ahead and grab this stand. Where's the stand? No. Stop. Stop it. There we go, okay. Uh, now we just move him here. You know, just, just move him here. Um, and we 
can rotate this up. All right, move this up here. Uh, rotate this here. And all right, then we rotate this up. I move this here, here, no, here. There we go. Um, and bam, we ju we just we just did that, and we can control C this to every other frame here. I mean, not frame, whatever, three frames, uh, however frames, however many frames you want. So he's like that. All right, now we just need to move this. Um, what's it called? Stop this. Move this back. Go up. Uh, rotate like so. All right, now we need to uh, move this up. Uh, like this, move it down, uh, and let's just move this down a bit, and, um, bam, we have a punch right there, alright? Now we just need to control C, control V, control V, control V, and control V, and bam, that, that, that's it. That's that's a stand animation. Alright, so before you rant about on me about this, just just remember that these aren't mine. Just please. So so look look look. There, you know how there are these leaks like a bootleg day. Um, to be fair, I can't say this, but yeah, I I can't say it. Um, a bootleg day. We have an extraordinary event adventure project JoJo. Uh, there's a mo um modded day. 
Uh, so, t this episode, we're going to be, uh... Oh, okay, this is Project JoJo. Okay, that's, that's actually neat. Uh, let me just go... Uh, zoom myself to this map. That did absolutely nothing. Let me just zoom myself over here. No, I can't. Where is it? I zoom to. I zoom to. Yay! Okay, this is the rock. This is a rock dummy. He's really rocky. And I'm not using Project JoJo for anything else except, you know, like a template. So uh, we're not we're not going to be using this this much. I'm just gonna showing you this. Let me just go ahead and open another Roblox Studio thing. I'm gonna blur out all my project because I don't want you to see them. Uh, let's up open up. Oh, oh stinky! <laughs> um, these these uncopy locks have different names so they don't get caught. Uh, uh oh, stinky is actually an extraordinary adventure. Um, they have a lot of uh, stands that a bizarre day doesn't have. Um, so they have this arena. My game's lagging like hell. So let, let's let's just um, go over here. All right. So this is the main part. This is the mainland, bro. <laughs> the game. And over here, this is a bunch of unused models that haven't been implemented with scripts yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Star Platinum Requiem that has scripts, and so does Star Platinum OVA. Um, but these are like... I'm pretty sure this is Dio's The World without a helmet. Um, so there are a bunch of these. Alright, there's a bunch of these. There's Black Zetsu. There's this guy. There's a different uh, TW model. Um, there's... There's a lot of things, but I had my keen eye on Silver Cherry Equacrium, which I'm going to be using. But the point is here, you can use any of the bottles you want because they are weak. You just, if, if, if you put them up sale for money, you will immediately... That's against the law. It's illegal anyway. Uh, so you can't do it. Uh, this is a campfire for all the creators of... ABD, or is it... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, of this game. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it has a bunch of models. And let me go ahead and show you. They put all their stands in replicated. No, they didn't. Uh, server storage, yep. They have everything here that... Like, much more than freaking... Uh, a bootleg day, um... They have everything. What is M I U? Made in. No, whatever, whatever. Okay. They have uh, made on Hollow's Eve, M E Y. They they have everything. Okay. They have like a lot. So you know, just if you're if you're feeling lazy and you don't want to make money, you just want to do something. Go go ahead and hop on this uh, link in the description as usual, and you can do that for sure. All right, so if you are a fruit lover and you like trees as well, this might be the tutorial for you because we are going to be implementing uh, rokaka fruits on these trees we see in front of us. So the rokaka is right here. And we need to go up to workspace, map, ABD map, no, structures, no, ABD map, uh, trees, and then we need to find... Oh, we're not putting them in the leaves. Don't worry. Uh, where's the tree body? Um, extract these out into the workspace and uh, down there is fine. So let's just go ahead and copy these because I'm. You don't really have to make freaking like you know whatever. So all right, so I can move now. Um, but the only reason I can move is because you have to publish it, people. Um, so you have to publish it. Uh, permissions, private, whatever. Monetization, do whatever you want. This, you have to allow third-party sales. Studio access to API services and HTTP requests. Um, there we go. And uh, localization, whatever. 
uh, places, whatever. The avatar has to be R6 and standard. If you do otherwise, you your stands will not work. So, yeah. Uh, let me just implement these freaking... Dang it, man. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, so it turns out we didn't need to put the Roka in there. All we needed to do was add a script into these. And I got this from a dev forum. So you get this, alright? And our Roka's already in st uh, in server storage, so that's okay. Uh, I think it's called Roka Ka 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 fruit is there space though that's my question um i believe so yeah there is all right um uh server storage bam bam no 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 um we need to put this in here then we need to do that uh, then we need to put a space, cool tool, and then server storage. No, not diver. <laughs> server. Is there? Is there no? Oh, SS. There we go. That I guess that works. Yeah. All right. So um, now we have that script for the tree body. Uh, and if this doesn't work, then I'll try the other way I was doing it. But, uh, copy this. Paste to, paste to da, and paste to da. Then we do that. We take these. Or an OG con is that? Johnny Joe Star. <laughs> uh, trees. There we go. And press play. Should. If I did it right, it should work. See? We just got a crap ton of Rokas. Um, but we still die. What? Oh, yeah, don't you have to... Yeah, okay, well, you have to, um, uh, make sure that the Roka, uh, <laughs> um, make sure, like, yeah, okay, it works. Huh, so I guess, I guess you just have to add the GUI for the Roka, um, uh, I guess, yeah, so that, 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 you do, so, oh, yes! Okay, finally, I've been waiting for this. Uh, you say you just put in a stand from another game, so let's just go ahead and add a stand from uh, my friend here. All right, let's take these, t take take that out, and let's say we just want to add a simple. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's just say we want to add a, a devil world, okay? Devil, devil world stand, all right? Uh, we copy this, copy. All right, then we just need to send it into server storage. There, it's right there. Um, and then we take this, copy, and paste it into lighting, because that's where all of our scripts are. This control C, I guess. It's better to do that than just, oh yeah, okay. Um, and we need to go to check and give stand. Um, and... Use a number that hasn't been used yet. Uh, surprisingly, uh, a lot of numbers haven't been used yet. Uh, so, 17, 30, mine to 6. 
All right, so I'm going to pause right there. The reason I, um, I, 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 you don't know this because I forgot to record, uh, rando sta stands for the random common number. So, um, uh, one is the lowest, six is the highest. I changed that to seven later because I couldn't get the stand. <laughs> uh, please don't mind that. Um, and I'm going to take it out later. I just hope you've learned which is the highest. Then, let me do that. Player dot data dot stand dot value equals 18 i mean not 18 what seven oh yeah quick thing i forgot to put make yourself whitelisted um make yourself whitelisted that's that's a good idea i, th I think i think that's a good idea um Let's just remove this and then set my name to here. So then, if I publish to Roblox and then I go here, see if it works. So I forgot to tell you guys that if you want to, you know, ban or um, become, make yourself creator or admin, you just need to go to the Donut Loader and open config and open uh, settings and you scroll down and all down here you will find everything here I'm gonna set my creator set myself to creator so you know there we go that's my alright that is mine so if I publish and I play I'm pretty sure I will have access to everything i think so so if i do slash up oh, and then tools there we go now i have everything here so i'm um, i'll come back when i get the devil stand okay so as you guys can see in my output i have him but he doesn't work because he needs red teleport. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to uh oh stinky and look for red teleport. Teleport, teleport. All right, then we need to get this script and um let's stop this. I'll still have the stand, don't worry. Um let's put this into server script service. And let's put this into a copy. Let's put this into replicated storage. All right. Um, I don't want to, you know, like keep doing that. Bam, 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 and then go back. So I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anything else that, you know, needs. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure that was it. Okay, that was the only one. So let's just start now. Unless there was something I didn't add. Now, of course, I didn't add RPR. Yep. RPR. Yeah. Okay. That's that's what they use to um get these stands. So uh, even if I didn't have the red teleport, I still would have been able to use it if I had RPR. Let's just publish that. Let's turn on RPR. Okay. So it should work now, unless I have to do. Oh, there we go. See. That's Devil World. Sixty-five damage, ninety-nine point nine heal. That's a heal over, right? And then a B Y. I'm pretty sure. All right, it's a self heal. Uh, F is to stop time, but you can't do it now. There's a cooldown, obviously. And then H is a slam. And J is a teleport. 
Uh, you can set it as the Fist of the Pot Star teleport because it's much faster as Fist of the Pot Star. Um, there's no animation, so it look kind of looks like me. Um, but uh, that's how you do that. So that's proof that you can do that. Um, so I guess this episode is over. Next episode, I'll be teaching you how to get Made in Heaven and Shadow the World. A long and grueling pot process, but it is for the best. And I'll see you guys later. Um, tell t tell Potman goodbye. Pot Potman, do you accept this goodbye? You don't. That's what you get. Haha, <laughs> just playing. Lol. Okay. Uh, there's not much to do. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, uh, and bye-bye. <laughs>